Hey, I'm Scott Grove from Imagine Grove, and today's episode, I want to do an overview of alternative inlays, primarily stone and, and shells. And um, just to give you an idea of, of what all the options are, uh, what people assume, what they don't assume, and hopefully I can clear some of that up for you. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, for an inlay, uh, you could inlay a fine line or a, a shape like a butterfly or anywhere in between uh, with just about any kind of material. And uh, in the guitar industry, for example, uh, the luthier uh, suppliers will provide you with pre-cut uh, pinstriping and herringbone uh, elements. Very expensive, but it's, it's a really nice look. Uh, you can also buy mother of pearl and abalone, which come in sheets in a whole variety of, of, of colors. These are really fabulous, very thin, also kind of difficult to work with. And if you're working with veneer, that becomes a little more challenging. But uh, it also does offer a, a nice accent to your piece, which is, I think is really important. To add that little detail that draws people in to say, wow, what is that? And these have a whole variety of, of, of chatoyances or pearlescence to them. Uh, they have pink and black and blue. Uh, obviously, the larger the sheets, the more expensive. You can also buy abalone and mother of pearl crushed up, which is, uh, which is nice. And they come in a variety of, of, of grinds. And this is primarily what we're going to be demonstrating in my ne next episode, where you take these, gr this ground-up material and you mix it in a variety of resins or epoxies, and you can just pour that in to your, your void, your pinstripe or your butterfly shape or, or whatever, whatever that's going to be. So um, that makes it really easy and very affordable. A lot of turners will use uh, stones to fill the little cracks. You've probably all seen turquoise, right? So you can buy, you can buy turquoise uh, either in, in a stone form and grind it up yourself. You can buy, you can buy it pre-ground uh, pre and you can buy turquoise Manganese, lapis, abalone, coral, I mean there's a lot of things available. Also these are quite expensive, the real thing. And you get these little one ounce bags and again you can dribble this in with epoxy or CA glue is commonly for smaller cracks but for larger voids you need to use a high solids resin. Uh, and on the side note, believe it or not, uh, turquoise that you, you find is reconstituted. Well, what does that mean? The dust left over from the uh, manufacturing process and then they remix it with epoxy or another resin and crush it all together. So here is a reconstituted uh, turquoise and then of course you can regrind that up. So um, if it says reconstituted, it, it has turquoise in it but it's mixed with epoxy and re sort of put it back together. And turquoise does come in a variety of colors, so you kind of think about that. Now, these two here are real turquoise, this one is a reconstituted turquoise. But uh, just, just be aware of, of what that means. So if reconstituted is acceptable to you, where's the line, right? Um, it, does it have to have 50% real turquoise and the rest can be something else, just colored epoxy? And a lot of it is the cheaper stuff has more epoxy and less real turquoise. Uh, I also uh, like to use ground up polyester, so like Corian counters, right? If that's ground up, uh, I get crushed polyester in a whole variety of colors and that allows me to mix any color that I want. But this is, this is great stuff also and you can get this in a variety of grinds. Um, but what I really like is the ground mother of pearl. Uh, that's uh, really fun stuff. It um, has that pearlescent quality, and again, you can get this in, in a number of grinds. Number, this is a number of, uh, 15. The lower the number, the coarser it is. This is a number 20. And this adds a, a lot of shimmering to it. But the one product that I've been recently uh, really excited about and I'm actually going to start uh, distributing is calcite. So calcite, uh, clear calcite, has a Mohs hardness of 3. Okay, so Mohs is how hard something is, um, talc is one, a diamond is number 10, and wood is about five. It really depends on what kind of wood, it ranges quite a bit. Point is, is you want an inlay that is three or four on a Mohs hardness, because if it's too hard, 
like Onyx, if you ever have inlaid Onyx, which I've done, when you sand it, the Onyx doesn't sand as fast as the wood and you sort of get a hump. So you want something that's going to sand uh, and, and kind of grind off real easily, but not too soft because then you don't want your fingernail punching in. So a Mohs hardness of 3, 4 is perfect. And clear calcite fits the bill. So I get clear calcite again in a number of grinds. And I can use this by itself that look kind of mother of pearly. In fact, what I do is I actually add mother of pearl and mix it together so you get some of that pearlescence. But you have that translucency of the, of the um, calcite. And I like that quality where it has a little more depth to it. But the beauty of it is you can dye it. And you can dye calcite any color you want. And you can make turquoise or lapis or sapphire or ruby. Of course, sapphire and ruby are very high in the Mohs scale, so you'd never, plus very expensive, you wouldn't be able to sort of inlay uh, that you know, affordably, and sanding again would be a problem. So the calcite is a perfect fit for that, uh, for that project. And more importantly, it's very affordable. So I've been buying large quantities of it and making it available uh, in, in, in decent quantities, so you don't have to keep buying these little crack bags one ounce at a time. And um, there's my sales pitch. Woo! Okay, so uh, what you do with this, this calcite is depending if it's a large void or thin void, you sort of have to determine what size of grind. I actually, for larger voids, do a 50-50 of my fine and coarse, and then I add some other pearl. And you can also add pearlescence. You can also add uh, sparkle uh, or metal filings. You can add a whole variety of things to give a really unique look. But if you're looking for something that looks like stone, calcite is in fact real stone. You can dye it any color you want and mix it with a variety of resins. And that can be anywhere from uh, CA glue, so very small voids, you can put CA glue in there. A lot of people do that. Uh, epoxy is really good, which is what I prefer. It doesn't stink up the house, if you will. You can use polyester, um, you can use actually UV, UV polyester, so you can use, I don't know if this shows up, yeah, you can use a UV light to cure it if you're in a hurry. Um, so those are the variety of, of resins that you can, you can mix the calcite with. So I think, um, <laughs> so that's it. Um, so go to imaginegrove.com if you're interested in any of these materials. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And look for my next episode where I'm going to actually uh, do a uh, mother pearl and cal dyed calcite. I'll show you how to do that. So remember to uh, find the line and then cross it. See you next episode.